Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do something totally different. I wanted to start talking to you guys more about just different topics, shows, anything that's just going on in the world. So today I thought this was the perfect topic to start with just because it has to do with me I guess a little bit. Um, so we're today we're going to talk about, if you already can't tell by the title, we're going to talk about the whole situation with Amber Rose and the comments she made about Philly girls so if you didn't know I am from Philly and I did personally watch the entire um, drink champs um, video when it came out like a week or two before everybody else the social media frenzy or whatever and when she said it during the, that interview it didn't rub me any type of way and I think the reason it didn't rub me to any type of way is because I watched her um everyday struggle complex interview and I don't know if she did something else but I think she did another interview I don't know but I feel like I, I had just watched like previous interviews that she had just did oh in her um Hollywood Unlocked video um interview so I did I watched a couple interviews that she's been doing like the past couple months and if you notice when they go on interviews they're basically answering the same questions over and over again so when she said what she said on um, Drink Champs, I was just unbothered. I really didn't take it any type of way. I didn't feel like she was coming at me. She was directing it at me, anybody in my family. You know, like, I didn't take it the way that everybody else took it. But I do, I do understand why everybody took it that way. Because if you didn't watch the full interview and you didn't see her previous interviews when she was asked the exact same question she just didn't explain it to the fullest thing that she did in the previous videos and I'm, I'm not her cousin or nothing i don't even know amber i do like her though but you just gotta watch what you say out of your mouth um and everybody needs to just humble themselves because it's always somebody that looks 10 times better than you so just humble yourself and if she's such and for her to be a feminist I don't understand why she would even ever get on that platform and say anything out of her mouth like that. That was totally disrespect, disrespectful to everybody that follow her just because she a feminist. That was very disrespectful in that aspect. But I did not feel any type of way. Personally, I don't feel like she was talking to me. I actually really feel like she meant that, like, if you are a Philly girl and you were a little prettier than some of the girls in your, high, in your school... And I'm talking to Philly people or people that could just relate to what I'm about to say. Um, there was like a thing where it was like this pretty girl and these girls that really not saying that they wasn't pretty either because they probably look bomb now. Like everybody as kids wasn't that bomb to be completely honest with you. But like it was girls that picked on pretty girls or just girls who were quiet um they kept to themselves stuff like that philly is very big on girls bullying other girls on that type of situation so when she said it and when she corrected herself and said that's that's what she meant i knew exactly that's i took it like that because she said it in previous interviews when she was asked the exact same question she just didn't go into detail with the drinks tramps um interview because it was like a two hour fucking interview i did as had it on it was on for like two fucking hours like and i was in and out of it but i did pay attention um and that's why i just i did i don't think it was that big of a deal that everybody made it well it was a big deal because she went on a big ass platform and she's a big person so like you just really need to watch what you say out your mouth and when i say don't never disrespect your home city we the only one riding for you big girl like, why the fuck would you do that? That was so stupid to me, but I don't know. I personally didn't feel no type of way. Can't nobody tell me that I'm not attractive or anything like that. Amber Rose don't validate me. She, her opinion of me does not matter. Like, it shouldn't matter to any of y'all, you guys either. Like, it just really doesn't matter to me. I mean, it, if you supported her and you from Philly and you took it some type of way, then unfollow her. <laughs> but other than that, just move on. That's that's just life. Just know Amber this is this is to Amber. 
she's if she ever see this <laughs> um watch what you say you already know in philly we don't play that stupid shit so once you said it you already knew philly philly was just gonna go in on you we are the bid city you give us one reason to bid on you and we will go the fuck in so yeah i didn't take it personally but i feel like her apology was not considerate at all and she didn't go into details for everybody because i know everybody didn't see the rest of her interviews that she had done in the past two three months so if you didn't see those other interviews you're probably going to just hate amber like she just cut off or whatever like that but i watched all the interviews so i already knew her thought process and i understood what she meant but her apology wasn't sincere just because everybody didn't watch her fucking interviews and i don't think they probably would so i just think her apology should have been a little better but yeah let me know how you feel up or felt about this because i know i'm like a week and a half late on this topic but i had to talk about this just because i'm a philly girl myself and i didn't feel how everybody else felt so hurt so i wanted to share with you guys that and i'll see you on my next video bye